When a young actress decided to pose for Playboy, she thought it would jumpstart her career. But little did she realize the controversy she'd caused, particularly among officials of the beauty pageant where she was the title holder. Well, now she's been erased from pageant records. Stacey Galandi reports. Carrie Ann Paniche! When Carrie Ann Paniche won the title of Miss United States Teen 2003, she had every reason to believe she'd crown her successor this month. But that didn't happen. Because of a huge scandal, pageant officials have stripped Carrie Ann of her crown because she stripped for Playboy. I was definitely upset. I, I was hurt. I, I mean, the pageant was something I had worked so hard for, and I definitely wanted to be there to crown the next girl. These are the photos the now 20-year-old stunner shot for the November issue of Playboy. My pictures are so classy and so pretty and really, you know, show who I am. Here Ann says she posed nude in order to jumpstart an acting career. She says she thought it would be okay since the issue hit stands this Friday, two weeks after she was supposed to pass the crown to her successor. There was nothing in the contract that said that I couldn't pose for Playboy. There was nothing in there that said I couldn't do nudity. But pageant officials disagreed and were outraged about the photos. They fired off a letter to Carrie Ann demanding she return her crown and banner. Carrie Ann refused. You get to keep your crown and banner forever. And um, they wanted me to mail it back and give it so the first runner-up could have it for two weeks. And the pageant wants to erase any record of Carrie Ann. They've even removed her name and picture from their website. And officials sent Inside Edition this statement saying, quote, Carrie Ann Peniche was not, is not, and will never be considered a Miss United States Teen USA. She's been wiped off our books. But Carrie Ann says in her mind, she will always be Miss United States Teen 2003. What's done is done. It's happened, and it's time for me to move on and, you know, pursue my career now. Carrie Ann debuts in January in her first movie role. It's a Burt Reynolds, Ray Romano comedy called Grilled.